Welcome to this video. In this video, we will see how to summarize the content of a website using Langchain and OpenAI. So first, we will install OpenAI and Langchain and Unstructured and Tick Token. Remember any content that we want to work with, that is like a book or multiple documents, we, all, we always want to convert it into what is called as a document object. Uh, so in Langchain, we first load the URL using Langchain. Then we have to convert the content of the URL as a document object. If you are planning to summarize a book, you will get the PDF as input and you will convert it into a document object. Then you will have to split the text into multiple documents and then you will create document objects with each of the split text and finally we will summarize the contents of the web content in the given url to summarize any content we have to first convert it into a document for which we will import langchain.docstore.document the document that we work in shouldn't be too large because this is going to go as a prompt to your llm model and we know that there is a restriction of prompt so we will always split it into multiple documents. Split it into multiple documents. We will use langchain.splitter. And here I've used a character text splitter. We will use the LLM model. To summarize, we're going to use the load summarize chain. First step is to load the HTML documents from a given list of URLs. Then we have to convert them into document objects. To get the URLs and to pass the URLs as a list, we use unstructured URL loader from Lanchain.document loaders. Then we take the list of URLs as parameter. We create an instance of the unstructured URL loader by passing the list of URLs as the parameter. We have now created a object for unstructured URL loader as seen here. The list of URLs that we pass ensures that it is possible for us to access multiple websites. In our particular code, we have taken the content only from one particular website. So from each website that we have, we can create a list of documents, one for each website content. This is done using loader.load function. When we check the type of data, we see that it is a list and the list consists of multiple documents. When we print data, we see that the document object has the page content and the metadata as a dictionary. We are interested in the page content. So let's give data of zero dot page content. So this gets the page content of the zeroth URL that we have passed. As the next step, now that we have the entire website content with us as a document, let's split it in the way we want. So I'm going to split it into chunks and each chunk is going to have a size of 3000. Now, what is this 3000? This 3000 refers to the total number of characters in the chunk. So my document is going to get split into multiple chunks of 3000 characters. To ensure that there is continuity, we have some overlap of chunks, which is given by chunk overlap. What is the function that I want to use to measure my chunk size? I want to count the number of characters. So that is represented using the length function. So it is length function is equal to length. Now, I do the actual text splitting using the character text splitter. I pass the chunk size, the chunk overlap size, and the length function to inform what is the measure of chunk size. By default, the separator is a double backslash n. Now that we have created an object for the character text splitter, let's split the text, which is found in the first URL data of zero and I want to split only the page content. Now that I have split it into multiple chunks, 
each chunk has to be made into a document. For that, I take 40 in texts, that is chunk by chunk. I take the text and then I convert it into a document object and I form a list of document objects, one representing each chunk. When we see the len of docs, we find that there are 16 such documents present. Import OpenAI, I import OpenAI, give my authentication key, and then I create an object for OpenAI, which is a text completion model. By default, the text DaVinci not not 3, I give a temperature of 0. If I want more creativity, I can increase the temperature. And for authentication purpose, I also give the OpenAI underscore API underscore key. But my LLM model has been created. I can use load summarize chain. Chains are used when we want multiple components to be integrated to achieve a particular goal. Here I want multiple documents to be combined. And finally, I want to create a summary out of all the multiple documents that I have. So in load summarize chain, I pass the LLM model and I can pass the chain type. There are multiple chain types possible. If I want to stuff all the documents into one single document and summarize it, I can use the chain type as stuff, but that might result in an increase in the number of prompt tokens which are given. I use the map reduce chain which will find the summary for each document separately and then ultimately summarize all the summaries. Then we perform summarization using run. In the run command, we give the list of the documents to be summarized. And to use this, we need to install tick token. In the output, we get a summary of the web page which says this article outlines the setup of a sales GPT controller, which is a conversational AI and so on. Thank you.